Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Mites, but you can just call me Mary. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I achieve my full pineapple look. This has to be hands down my favorite hairstyle and my go-to hairstyle whenever I don't want to have my hair down. I always get lots of compliments and I always get those questions of how I achieve my pineapple hairstyle look. So if you want to know and want to learn how you can achieve it as well, stay tuned for the video. Starting off with what you will need, instead of using these hair ties, I actually do not recommend using it because it refrains your hair and your pineapple to look more full and look and have so much volume to it so I do not recommend using a hair tie an elastic whatever it is don't recommend it what I do suggest you should use is a headband those thick headbands like this and then what you want to do is just cut it I already cut mine in half but you just want to cut it and it'll be like this so you're just going to be wrapping your hair around this. If you do not have a headband, using a long, clean sock would work just as fine. You can just tie it around. Using this instead of a regular hair tie just makes your pineapple look more full and all around has a nice shape to it. So that's why I like to use this. You're also going to need a couple bobby pins and also a hair pick. So let's just get started. So what you guys want to do first is to massage and lift up your hair by shaking it and just massaging your scalp. This gives it extra volume. Next, all you're going to do is to gather your hair and placing it on the crown part of your hair, which is located on the top portion of your hair. So that's what you'll be doing next. Now, grabbing your pick in an upward position, you just want to basically lift up your root. This creates more volume and adds more texture, so you're just going to do this all around your ponytail. And I know some people don't own a pick. If you don't own a pick, it is okay. You can use your fingertips and just lift them up in an upward position as well. Now grabbing the headband that you cut in half, you will then wrap that around the ponytail and you'll let go of your hair that you were holding on to and then tie a little knot in the front part and then you'll just do the same in the back, just tying another knot. Then you'll just tuck those two pieces if there's extra in the headband itself and don't worry guys this is secure it won't move at all so you will be good now all you will be doing is just pulling and tucking and making sure that you are lifting your ends up and then you will be using your pick for more volume and more texture to be added now you will be using some bobby pins I will just be securing some parts like the back and on the sides just so my hair is safely secured and does not move. And I do believe that you guys will get the perfect full pineapple look on second to third wash day hair and not first because first wash day hair your hair is not stretched out. So yeah. And then I usually like to have some pieces falling down from my face for more texture. And then this part is optional, but I like to have my edges laid. So using a toothbrush, not for my teeth, but for my hair. So I will just be applying some Eco Styling product onto my edges because I feel like this product works really well, especially for curly hair, and it has really good hold. So doing the same thing that I did for my baby hair on the other side, I will do for this one and I also will apply it on to the pieces that I used to frame my face for more added on texture and then I will be fluffing and using my pick to thicken out the pineapple. 
So that is how I achieve my full pineapple look. Guys, it is super simple and super easy. I also like to have some pieces coming down on my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you'd like for me to try out some different hairstyles, leave some comments on what you guys want me to do next. Don't forget to follow my social media accounts. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>